Life training skills, educational support assistance, counseling and financial incentives are just a few of the programs at Arizona Young Adult Program. Kimberly Clifton joins us now to tell us more. And Kimberly, you're working with that program. We are. My husband and I own TR Antigua Realty, and our amazing company and agents and partners have helped the Arizona Young Adult Program form a fundraiser for these teens. And why did you decide to pick this organization to help? You know, um, housing and clothing needs and community is everything to us. And so the Arizona Young Adult Program, we found out, is for um, children and young adults that are 16 to 21, that living on their own is better than living in their previous environment. Um, they only receive about $150 per year for clothing items. Wow. 150 and, per year? Correct. Wow. So you can imagine a 16, 17, 18 year old boy, let's say, mm -hmm. can barely provide shoes for himself for that. Mm -hmm. These are all working individuals. They're in school. They're working really hard to be on their own, and many times they start with just the clothes on their back. So we decided that it would be amazing to have a little Christmas in July, a new-to-you type of mm -hmm. um, event where we can raise items. Two years ago, we started this program and um, worked very closely with um, the Arizona Young Adults, and we provided about 6,000 items for um, about I would say 150 to 170 kids benefited from that wow. so we're really excited to help you mentioned that you, you benefited about 170 kids but I bet the need is is much more than that here much in larger much larger um, and where we're at right now the reason we're asking um, for assistance from you is to get the word out again we have done this all by volunteer basis our company committees people in our industry, our community, have all been, been very generous to support mm -hmm. this. Um, we're looking now to complete that list. We don't want anyone to show up that doesn't have something to take home for the school year is really what it's for. Um, so now we're looking to add new items to that list, socks, undergarments, things that people don't donate. Right. And what are some things that you are, besides the few things that you mentioned, looking for? Is it any age range of clothes that you'll take? You know, we will take any age range because honestly, some of these teens, they're all 16 to 21 to be in the program. Okay. But many of them have children as well. Oh, okay. So we're looking for any items, household goods as well. Um, we've had some great partnerships with um, our community. Some of the local stores have given us discounts and assisted um, with some grants. But we're really looking for that extra push to make this next school year a great start for these kids. And when you guys get the donations, how do you guys handle all that stuff that comes in? How do you process it? How do people get the need? You know, our company has so many amazing volunteers. They physically sort the items, wash wow. them if necessary, fold them, and it makes it nice because we've had um, other businesses um, donate space for us to, to store them, but we also don't want anyone to come and not have an item. And, you know, these kids vary in every size, mm -hmm. so we go out and purchase items to make sure that everyone has enough. Wow. And when is the clothing drive, and how can people participate? The clothing drive is July 18th, okay. this Saturday. It's on a Saturday, and we're looking for any items to be dropped off at any one of our Tierra Antigua locations. Um, we have one at River and Campbell, Tanca Verde and Sabino Canyon, and Ina and Oracle. Okay. So. And just big bags of clothes is fine? Um, we will, we absolutely will take any um, new or gently used clothing items, housing goods. We're really looking also for some cash donations, gift cards so that we can go purchase those yep. new items, undergarments, socks, underwear, those types of things. And talk about the community event. I mean, you, you mentioned having other businesses help you out. This really shows how giving Tucson can be. You know, it's phenomenal. We're local and we support local and these kids really need help. And I have yet to speak to one company or one individual that says, no, we won't help. Yep. It's just what can we do and how do we pull it together? So our, again, the agents and volunteers at TRNT will have just been phenomenal in really starting this program from scratch, mm -hmm. this event, I should say. We started with their Christmas event, their holiday um, time, which is put on by their caseworkers who do a phenomenal job. You know, it's it's a very tough job they have. Oh, absolutely. And they have to teach these kids life skills, um, things that they should have learned along the way but haven't. And when you look at these kids, it's so heartwarming. And some of them, it's just that little push, just that new item of clothing that they can wear to a job interview, mm -hmm. or the confidence or the communication we have with them is just great.
It's That's wonderful. Awesome. Thank you so much Kimberly, for joining you. us today. Thank you. Still to come in the morning, but it's a big weekend together with family and friends, but not a time to tell your teen to try alcohol. Your kids are keeping them safe.